Welcome to my channel. I really appreciate you coming to watch my videos. I'm thankful for every single person that comes here. And I really do appreciate your support. I'm thankful for it. Thank you very much. This is today's episode of Daily News Clips. I've got my usual four items for you. And the first one is entitled, France Joins the World War on Free Speech. This article is talking about how France has uh, banned TikTok in New Caledonia, which is a Pacific Island territory of France. I didn't even know that. It says, last Thursday, Macron switched sides in that fight on May 16, 2024. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Macron government joined governments around the world in the rising war on freedom and reason. His government entirely blocked the TikTok social media platform from operating in France's Pacific Island territory of New Caledonia. No European Union nation has ever blocked an entire website and app before. It is frightening to see a government completely block a social media platform, possibly due to concern about protests, said Jeff Kosef author of two books on internet censorship and speech, including last year's Liar in a Crowded Theater. This is entirely inconsistent with free expression norms and what we expect in a democracy. Well, <laughs> it, it may be that, but it's certainly not in, inconsistent with what we've been seeing going on around the world in the last few years. Uh, let's be honest, they're trying to censor speech all over the globe right now, and it doesn't matter if it's a democracy or an authoritarian government, they're all doing it. The second article I have is Hollywood's Blowhards, Good Riddance, and I just want to read this to you because this is, this is one of my pet peeves. So far, between 2016 and today, from public sources, we have an impressive group ready to leave America if Trump wins or pledges to do so. Don't get excited, but let's keep them on. Let's let's keep them to it. The Never America crowd includes Barbara Streisand, Taylor Swift, Lena Dunham, Amy Schumer, o Omen Hardwick. Snoop Dogg, Samuel Jackson, Whoopi Goldberg, Miley Cyrus, George Lopez, Raven Simone, Brian Cranston, Nevi Campbell, Nay Yo, whoever the heck that is, and a dozen others. Interestingly, Cher and Jon Stewart, either secret admirers of Elon Musk or, like Biden of China, have pledged to leave the planet. So get the rockets ready. <laughs> it always cracks me up when these people do this because Barbara Streisand is worth $430 million. Taylor Swift is worth $1.1 billion. Lena Dunham, $12 million. Amy Schumer, $45 million. Omar Hardwick, $5 million. Snoop Dogg, $160 million. $250 million and $60 million. Apparently he's got three different net worths. Miley Cyrus, 160 million. George Lopez, 45 million. Raven Simone, 40 million. Brian Cranston, 40 million. Nevi Campbell, 10 million. And Nayo, 9 million. Yeah, these people are rich beyond their wildest dreams. And it was America that made them rich. But they hate America so much that if the right person doesn't get elected, they're going to leave. Except they never do. When have you ever seen any of them leave? They just threaten it and then they, after the election is over, if the person they wanted to win doesn't win, they just shut up and they bide their time until the next four years. It's just silliness. Uh, the next item I have is 54%. And this, this one, uh, I can't say I'm surprised, but it still cracks me up. 54% say a random group of people could do better job than U.S. Congress. <laughs> oh, oh, they are popular, aren't they? Only one in five voters 
think members of Congress listen to their constituents, and a majority say a random collection of people would do a better job. The survey found that 50% of likely U.S. voters believe a group of people selected at random from the phone book would do a better job addressing the nation's problems than the current Congress. So, if I were a member of Congress, that would irritate me, and I would say I need to do something to fix this. But, what do you know? We'll see. Finally, I have a uh, post on X. The International Criminal Court Prosecutor has asked, <clears throat> excuse me, asked for the arrest warrants against Israel's PM Netanyahu and Defense Minister Gallant. And in addition, he's seeking arrest warrants against the Hamas leaders Yahya Sinwar, Muhammad al Mazri, and Ishmael Hania. Well, my question to him would be why didn't you seek arrest warrants back in October if you thought that the Hamas people should be arrested? Have they done something new that, that suddenly triggered this? Or is this kind of cover because you want to get Israel? I don't understand it. I'll tell you, the more life goes on, the more wacky it gets, and the more I wonder how could it possibly get any wackier, and yet it does. So that's the news for today. I'll be back tomorrow with another edition. In the meantime, I pray for you that you will live an abundant life, that you will be healthy, that you'll live a long time, that God will keep you safe from harm, and that you will be born again as a Christian, if you're not. I pray the same thing for every person that you love. But most of all, I pray that you will be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, you will make your request known to God, and the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam Mirror Vet, out.